was the adventure that life is, is really, it's like a giant scavenger hunt that's been created for you, where life is giving you all kinds of clues that help you feel the pull of your dreams. Yeah, the Uber driver in Dallas that's in this book. Um, I get choked up when I think about him. Uh, an aha Why moment. Why choked up? I get choked up because what happens for me every single day is, and you hear from people every single day, you've got millions and millions of people that are inspired by, empowered by, impacted by your content. There are people out there that use your work as a lifeline and it is humbling. And what I am really present to in the work that I'm putting out and the stuff that I'm sharing, whether it's my failures or the things that I'm using that are helping me in my own struggles, is just how much people are holding themselves back and how much pain people feel because most folks know what they dream about and what they want. And yet they're spending all of their time and energy arguing against what they want. And so you can have all these epiphanies. I hope that when somebody listens to our conversation and watches this, that they have a massive aha moment but it's not going to mean fucking shit if you don't take action and do something about it. The aha moment is the door that opens, but your new life does not begin unless you fucking step through the door. And most people, and that's what was so kind of, you know, the simple idea of high-fiving yourself, of encouraging yourself, of supporting yourself. Most people, when you have an aha moment and the door to your new life opens up, instead of going, I got this, let's go, and high-fiving yourself to step forward, most of us go, mm, I don't know if I'm worth it. I don't know if right now is the right time to do this. I don't think I'm good enough. I failed so many times that I can't go through that door. And that's the problem I want to attack right now. That there was somewhere in your life that you know what you want. You can feel it pulling you. And you are actively arguing against it. You're bringing yourself down. You're beating yourself out. Like people will cheer for you and me, they won't cheer for themselves. I'm the same way. And so this Uber driver, the story that you're talking about, I get into the car and we start the driving, and I'm on the phone as we're driving, and I'm having a conversation with somebody about the daytime talk show that I launched, which was a dream with so many pictures television, and then. Uh, I was promptly fired after season one, and it was a huge fucking failure because we didn't make it to season two. Huge failure in real world terms. Mm -hmm. Massive success. 
when it comes to the timeline of my life. And so I want to talk to this person about the uh, talk show. I hang up the phone and this Uber driver comes a lot. He's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're in my cab. And I'm like, what? And he says, because I, I want to talk to you about something. I think you can help me. And I'm like, great. How can I help you? And he says, I have a dream of being a Oscar winning uh, actor. And creating opportunities for other Black and Latino men to do the same in acting. And I'm like, freaking fantastic. What the fuck are you doing in Dallas? <laughs>